They are always praying for me. And not me alone, also our dear sister who interprets and yeah, Pastor Ima, uh, all of us, and our team. By the grace of God, every year we set aside the month of July to seek the face of God. And we are starting tomorrow, that is 1st July, God willing. And we are inviting every one of you to join us in this time of spiritual journey. I can see that all over Ghana, uh, uh, a lot of churches are spending time seeking the face of God. The Lord is going to do a new thing in our lives. For the past weeks, I've been sharing with you about the prevailing power of the blessing of God. Last week, I shared with you about the, 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 the uh, uh, prayer and the blessing of now, God. Today, I want to prepare you for the coming days that we are setting aside to seek the face of God in fasting and prayers. And then, so my Bible says, you and none, and none, I just see a name say. And I want to share with you engaging the power of fasting and prayer for your turn around encounters. Many of us are going through impossible situations, but God wants you to know that you can change it through prayer and fasting. This week, the Lord gave me a word, and I want to declare to you that what you are expecting has already arrived. I repeated prophetically that what you are expecting has already arrived. And God is going to do amazing things. And the Lord is also saying that I will teach your hands to experience awesome things or, or, or wondrous things. So tonight, as we study God's word, engaging the power of fasting and prayers for your turnaround encounters, uh, get ready, take your notebook and your pen and your Bible as we study God's word together. Turn with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 to 31. The Lord said I should tell a lady, he said that from tonight your testimony has arrived. Amen. 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 In Isaiah 40, 28 to 31, let's hear the read of God's word. Have you not known, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary, his understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount out with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah <laughs> 
omre na ompaba ni humu eni enshushaye ono na oma de wabre to me na oma de onyi ahume ahume oden do osu e mabru mpo bre na wapaba ne mranti enshushaye ase na wana wachwe rade no ebe nya ahume oden fufu oden tabamba fufu akodye obe chumika na wamre obe nante Father, we pray that you give us quick understanding in your word as we learn together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is important to know the purpose and power of fasting and prayers. Fasting and prayer is a strong spiritual weapon of every high physical impact. So bet me a ye be be ama as a to be so a yem pie boni mwa de de and anam so emba ye. I've come to realize that a lot of religions believe in fasting. My baby who no se as soon be bridge mwa de de de. When you discipline yourself to fast, there are many blessings that you can experience. So what's next in the whole edi mwa de de a and when you be brabe who. Also, in the scriptures, we discovered that it was spiritual weapon that that made the spiritual giants to have victory in their walk with God. Elijah fasted and experienced the hand of God. Moses fasted and experienced the presence of God. Joshua fasted and experienced victory in every day in his work with God. Daniel fasted and had revelation from God. Esther fasted and had victory over her enemies. And the disciples also fasted and they were able to, to face the impossible situation. Apostle Paul fasted daily and had strength in his body. <coughs> and above all, our Master Jesus fasted. So, in this scriptural example that I'm giving you, we see the peppers and the products of fasting. <coughs> so tonight, I want you to know <coughs> how you can engage the power of fasting for your turn around encounters. And quickly, we want to consider what purpose does fasting and prayer achieve in the life of a believer. In terms of what power does it deploy? So get ready as I share this secret with you how prayer and fasting can turn things around. <clears throat> so let's turn to Second Chronicles chapter 15 verse 3 to 6. We see the power of fasting. And we also see how fasting and prayer can help you to achieve great, greater things for the Lord. Second Chronicles chapter 15 verse 3 to 5. <coughs> For a long time, Israel has been without the true God, without a teaching priest, and without law. But when in their trouble, they turned to the Lord God of Israel and sought him, and it was found by him. And in those days, there was no peace 
to the one who went out, nor to be one who came in, but great turmoil was on all the inhabitants of the land. So we see in these verses that there was no peace for those who go out and those who come in. And there was not a true God. They, 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 they couldn't find time to seek that God. But in their trouble, they turn to God in fasting and prayers. So number one, what does fasting and prayer achieved? Number one, in this few verses, we see that fasting and prayers help us to secure divine intervention. In a situation where we see God for turn around. I know a, a, a son that his mother prayed for him. The boy was not doing well, but through prayer and fasting, now by the grace of God, he has entered into the university. Note it all, for a long time, Israel has been without the true God and without a teaching priest and without law. But when they are troubled, they turn to the Lord God of Israel. In your time of trouble, when you fast and pray, heaven will intervene. In these 31 days that we are starting tomorrow, we are we are seeking the face of God for a divine intervention. The prophet Isaiah went to the king Hezekiah and told him that set your house in order because you are about to die. But when he turned to God through prayer and fasting, God intervened. Beloved, it's time for God to intervene when we pray or when we seek his face. Now there's no peace wherever you go. People are crying for peace. People are crying to change governments and uh, every, but it cannot solve it until we seek the face of God. In verse 5, he said that in those times there was no peace to the one who went out, nor to the one who came in. Today, when you are going out, you have no peace. When you are coming in, you have no peace. A lady got married just for uh, eight weeks. Just yesterday, she said, Pastor, I can't, I can't contain it. Is that what marriage is about? And I said, my dear, it's time to seek the face, of, uh, the face of God for divine intervention. I'm encouraging you tonight to understand the power of fasting and prayer. 
to me a war and pie boy any more that dear moon what me do watch him be so number one i said the securing of divine intervention the idea can say a chip come a bomb pie yeah ma or through them the number two what what purpose does fasting and prayer achieved number two the averting of impending destruction danger or or disaster when we fast and pray we can stop it a situation where you see danger coming fasting is needed situation where life and destiny are, are threatening fasting is needed where a man's life or community or family under a threat fasting is needed we see in the bible in esther chapter 4 verse 16 Naaman desired to wipe away the Jews. But Esther and her friends or her household fasted and prayed. And they were able to avert the impending destruction, danger, or disaster. There is a lady that a prophet has told you that you would die between now and, and August. Let me tell you, you won't die. Oh, baby. You won't die, but you shall live and declare the words of God. Heaven will intervene. And those who want to wipe you from this earth, they cannot because God is answering your prayers. Let me say Say it again, situation where life and destiny are threatening, fasting is needed. There is a man listening to me, you are going through pains on your right leg. There's a big sore on your leg and, and you've been uh, 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 treated and uh, you can't see any progress. But the hand of God is touching you right now. And you entertaining fears that maybe doctors will cut that leg. They won't cut it. God is healing that wound right now. From tomorrow, our church, we are going to, to seek the face of God and pray for 31 days that we will secure divine intervention. Divine intervention for our families, for our businesses, for our lives, for our ministries, and for our nation. There are some impending destruction coming your way, but through prayer and fasting, you can stop it. Through fasting, you can you can cancel all threats. Like, like what Esther did. Engaging the power of fasting for your turnaround encounters. What does fasting and prayer achieve in the life of a child of God? Number three is the expediting or accelerating of prophecy fulfillment. God has given us his word. And beloved, prophetic ministry is real. 
But most of you, when a prophet gives you a word, you think that automatically it has to be fulfilled. You have to pray. You have to fast until the prophecy being fulfilled. That's why people are going around seeking prophecies upon uh, prophecies. But let me encourage you tonight. Through prayer and fasting, you can accelerate the, 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 the prophecy fulfillment in your life and in your ministry. This is a situation where prophecy must be forced into fulfillment. In a situation where prophecy is being delayed, fasting and prayer is needed. When you turn to Daniel chapter 9 verse 2 and 3, and also Luke chapter 24 verse 49. And first Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. Apostle Paul encouraged Timothy said, Timothy, through the prophetic word that came upon, through that, fight the good fight of faith. Now also for Paul and said Timothy. For your prophecy to be fulfilled, you you have to engage yourself in, uh, in fasting and prayers. It's my prayer that you will join us this 31 days of power through prayer and fasting for divine intervention. For the averting of impending destruction, danger, or disaster. For accelerating of prophecy fulfillment. Whatever is delaying in your life, get ready for God to intervene and bring it to pass. Your giving birth have delayed, your marriage have delayed, your 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 your, your expectation have delayed. But remember, the Lord gave me a word initially said that what you are expecting has already arrived. What does fasting and prayer achieve in the life of, of a believer? Number four is the provoking of divine visitation. This that one day we are going to ask God to rain revival upon our land. The Lord should rain over the church. Rain over our families. And also personal revival. There's a man of God listening to me. You are confused and you are stagnant in ministry. This is your turn around encounter. God is about to visit you and visit your church. In Daniel chapter 9 verse 2, Daniel had divine visitation. Daniel woman a team crew you move me no or slow besra Daniel. And as Acts chapter 1, verse 13 and 14, they had visitation from God. Then in Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, we see how the Holy Spirit visited the early church. Then in Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, we see how the Holy Spirit visited the early church. 
as a for By the grace of God, I had the opportunity to meet Apostle Lenim, the founder of CAC. Through prayer and fasting, while they were praying together with Apostle Redu, they had divine visitation at Asamankasi. Through prayer and fasting, we are provoking divine visitation. On Sunday, I'm trusting the Lord that God will visit our church and visit our families. Tonight, may God visit you for your turn and run encounters. So through prayer and fasting, we secure divine intervention. Through prayer and fasting, we avoid uh, impending destruction, danger, or disaster. Through prayer and fasting, we accelerate uh, prophecy fulfillment. Through prayer and fasting, we provoke divine visitation. There's a brother God is opening new doors for you. Not only in Ghana, but all over Africa. God is connecting you to a man who will help you. God is bringing three helpers to your way. And God is uh, 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 connecting you to your commanding blessing. Just ask God to give to, to give you true riches. And also to set your heart right. Most of us are seeking blessing, but we don't set our heart right. My next series that I'm going to teach on this radio, I'll talk about if you love the Lord. When you said to how to love the Lord, the Lord will heal you and deliver you from your enemies. The Lord told David, said, David, because you have set your heart upon me. He said, I will be with you in trouble. And I will answer your prayers. And I will give you long life. It's time to seek the face of God. What does fasting and prayer achieve in the life of a child of God? Number five, for the intensification of spiritual power. Anytime you feel weak, it's time to fast. Remember in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. They that wait upon the law shall renew their strength. It's time to seek the Lord. When you are weak, fast. I say when you are weak, fast. And also when you turn to Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. Jesus said, This can't go with not said by prayer and fasting. If you seek God through prayer and fasting, He will give you strength. By the grace of God, there is a man on your bed and you don't know what to do. God is giving you new strength now. I release the strength of God into your spirit, into your body, and into your soul. So what does fasting and prayer achieve in the life of a child of God? Number six, 
the securing of divine direction through prayer and fasting god directs our path there's a lady that two men has proposed to you one from america and one in ghana your friend is forcing you to take the one in America. But let me encourage you, just seek the face of God. And God will direct your path. God will direct your marriage. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall walk and not faint. It's time to seek the face of God. I thank God for a lady that I met recently. Her, her daughter came to her and said, Mommy, I've met a guy who is a mechanics. And a brother also came from Canada and said, Mama, I want to marry your daughter. Uh -huh. So the family member said that, Oh, we thank God for the one from Canada. And the woman said, let me go to the altar for seven days. She went to the altar seeking direction from God. And she didn't hear any voice. She didn't uh, uh, have any prophecy. But she fed within herself. And she was so encouraged that she has to marry the mechanics. And said to herself, I'm going to get this man and I will have a peace of mind in my marriage. So, so she went to her man and said, Mom, let me agree for the mechanics. And the woman said, Daughter, thank you. And the mother said, Daughter, now I know that you love the Lord. She said, Don't marry anyone who has me, but marry someone who fears God. People are going around and say that the money answers all things. Let me tell you, money doesn't answer all things. So when we seek God through prayer and fasting, we will secure divine direction. That's why I'm teaching this on this radio that from tomorrow, join us even on radio, on TV, and also uh, in person in the church. Come and join us. And God willing, on Saturday, I'm going to teach it on King Tom TV. How prayer and fasting can turn things around in our lives. So what does prayer and fasting achieve in the life of a believer? Number seven, that's the final one that we will pray together tonight. The securing of physical health and vitality. 
It's my prayer that your 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 energy level will be multiplied. These days we live in a time that people are buying all kinds of energy drinks, all kinds of medication, just experience uh, 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 different. But let me encourage you through prayer and fasting, you will secure physical health and vitality. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. I had a testimony about Apostle Enim, the founder of CSC. He had an ulcer, but through prayer and fasting, the Lord healed him. These two apostles can lock themselves in a room every day for seven hours praying. Today we have removed the Asian landmark that our father has set. They say, yeah, 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 free one. And most, yeah, you most of us fast just to, to, to get material things. Say, I will be back to come up. Then in now, quiet, rather, farm a mule, farm a mule. But just fast for, for a divine direction. Then, I say, I chill, come pass a rather, chill, me soon, so more. And here, quiet, man, I mean, fast for the Just fast for, for spiritual energy. We are praying just to get husbands and wives, to get money, to go to America, to go to Canada. But if you seek the Lord, he will direct you. Let me encourage you tonight. Engage in the power of fasting and prayer for your turn around encounter. Elijah did it, Moses did it, and Joshua did it. Elijah, yeah, Moses, yeah, Enna, Joshua, so yeah, yeah. Daniel and Esther, they did it. Daniel, yeah, San, so so yeah. Apostle Paul and Abevo, our Master Jesus, fasted, fasted. Also, my for Paul, oh, eh, yeah, Enna, ni na, chino. So come and join us in this 31 days of power. I have given you seven things that fasting and prayer can achieve in the life of a child of God. Tonight I am begging to pray for those who can give birth. I pray that every barren woman will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Amen. And, I, and I command the womb to be open in the name of Jesus. And I declare that a year today, may you carry your child at your back. In the name of Jesus. And as the Lord gave strength to Mary, may He give the same strength to you to conceive. Amen. And as the power of the Holy Ghost overshadowed Mary, may the same power overshadow you tonight. Yes. And I command that very soon you will laugh and say, Look at what the Lord has done. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, thank you for taking time to listen to us. God will in next week, I will come your way. And we will talk about the hand of God through prayer and fasting. You need the hand of God in this end time. So if you don't know Jesus as your personal savior, and you have heard the word of God, 
Give your life to Christ. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, as you listen to me, if you have a heart to give your life to Christ, just pray this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, today I've heard your word. I give my heart to you. Lord Jesus, I open my heart to you. Come into my heart. Be my Savior and be my Lord. Father, forgive me all my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Make me a brand new person. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus' name. The man that I prophesied to you that you have been you have been caught in a bed with stroke. The Lord is healing you right now. And there's a woman, you were not blind, but something has happened now. You can't see. Just put your two hands on your eye. The Lord is healing you right now. The Lord is healing you right now. There's a lady you've been dreaming that uh, someone sleeps with you. It happened just, just this morning at dawn. The Lord is changing your garments. And the Lord is changing your position. In the name of Jesus. And I pronounce total deliverance over you now. And I hear God saying that the enemy you see today, you see them no more. Get ready. The Lord is going to do uh, awesome things in your life. So we are ready for you. Just give us a call. And we will pray for you. Okay. God bless you.